Faceware Analyzer now includes a capture feature that allows users to capture video from a camera directly into Analyzer, make minor edits, and use that to create a new Analyzer job. This is ideal for doing quick faceover work, which is recording a facial performance to match an existing audio file, or for creating entirely new performances. This tutorial will teach you how to capture, edit, and create a new job with the capture feature. So the first thing we're going to do is to open the capture feature. To do so, you open up Analyzer, and from the File menu, you select Capture. And you can see the Capture dialog right here. So it's actually pretty simple. If we're going to capture a new performance, we're first going to go to the Edit menu and make sure our video source and audio source are correct. Any ones that Analyzer detects in your system will be available in the menu. So you just select your options. Audio obviously only applies if you are, in fact, recording audio. So make sure those are set up. You can set up a couple more options if you wish. This one, Plays Beep Before Capture Starts, will play a series of three beeps to help with timing for when the capture begins. This is particularly useful and specifically designed for faceover work, though you can just leave it on if you wish. Stop Capture When Audio Ends is also a faceover feature. If you've imported an audio file, Analyzer will automatically stop recording when the audio file ends if you have this option selected. So those are both good for faceover work, but you can leave them on for the rest of the time too if you wish. So once we have our options selected and set up however we want, we're going to go over to this right side and make sure Capture New Image Sequence is chosen here. You have two options, Capture New Image Sequence or Review Trim Captures, which we'll get to later, but if you're actively capturing a video, this is the one you want to have selected. So we're going to enter our new take name, and I'm going to do Capture Demo. It can be whatever you want, and as you capture, as you can see down here, it will automatically increment your captures, so you don't have to keep changing the name, it'll just add the numbers afterwards. For audio mode, we have three options. First is capture audio with take. That means that whatever audio source you've selected will be recording audio for your take while you're capturing. The second is use an existing audio file, which mentions FaceOver. If you're doing a FaceOver, if you want to use an existing audio file and try and sync to it, you'll select that and then you can press this button and browse to an audio file and it'll appear here and play when you hit capture. And the third option is no audio, which is pretty self-explanatory. If you have no use for audio, either in capture or faceover, you can just select that and it won't worry about audio at all. Now, one thing that should be noted is that this black area over here, this is actually the preview window. While you are recording, this will be black. That's because Analyzer is a software-based capture and to prevent performance loss in drop frames and that sort of thing, we keep it black, we don't display the video while you're actually capturing, but when we go to the review it, it'll appear here. So that's normal and not something you have to worry about, but something to keep in mind. When you are ready to capture, when you have your audio, name, everything set up how you want, you go down to the bottom here, to this big Start Capturing button. You press it, if you have the beep set up, they'll start playing, and the preview window will let you know how long your recording is. It's pretty straightforward. From here you just record your performance into the software. Whenever you're done, you hit stop capturing. Note that if you have an audio file and if you have stop capturing when audio ends on, you don't have to hit stop capturing because it'll just do it. Depending on how long your take is, it'll take a few moments to process it to turn it into an image sequence that we can use. So once your capture is done and it's processed, your take will appear in the takes list on the right under review and trim captures. So once you have your desired take or what you think your desired take is, you're going to press this button and click on the take from the list. It'll appear here in the preview window. To play your capture back, you can use the playback controls down here. Or alternately, if you just want to look at it, you know, in a frame by frame manner, you can stop that and scrub through the timeline. You can see some information about your video down here. You can see start frame in frame, absolute time, and time code. And likewise, the end of your video. And this middle section is the frame that you are currently on. You can see update as I move around the timeline. 
If you wish to change the length of your video, say I want this one to start at frame 50 where I recorded, I can either go to 50 on the timeline and hit set in, or alternately I can just enter frame 50 and it will automatically update here. And you can see that the length updates here on the take menu. You can see that the total is 162 frames, but now it's 112. That's how much that would be used. You can do the same thing for the end frames if you wish to change the end time. Or if you want to set it back to its original length, just hit set to full. You can also trim pre-existing videos or image sequences that you've imported. You can, in fact, do this from the new job menu. But if you need to look at your video, you can simply go to File, Import Video, or Import Image Sequence. and they'll appear in the takes as though you just captured them and you edit them in exactly the same way. But for now, we're happy with this video and we want to make a new job with it. So we're going to go over here, select it in the Review Trim Captures section, right click it, and hit Create New Job with Take. And that automatically populates the New Job dialog. This is exactly the same as if you had just gone File, New Job, and set your options if you want to change anything. Hit Create, and you'll have a brand new, fresh, fancy analyzer job for you to start tracking.